welcome back to my channel and today video we are going to make a quick beef burger for lunch since um, we are you know home let's make lunch beef burger is what it is so I'm going to show you what I'm going to use here um, first things first this is my way of making my beef burger I have paprika and I have jerk seasoning because this is remember this is beef so a little spice is always good as you can see this is the meat seasoning um this brand is from the Caribbean something Caribbean um that's what I'm using um uh, meat um powder to season my beef of course we're going to use ginger <sighs> duh ginger is good for everything um so ginger we're also going to use wait did i forget yeah i don't know how to say this but yeah those are one of the things you use it says for tacos but um you can also use it for any meat <laughs> it's just seasoning of course we're going to use jumbo this is um african burger okay <laughs> um i like to use jumbo instead of using salt for some reason um don't ask me why because i grew up using jumbo and not using well they do use salt but anyway i personally like to use jumbo for the most part those are onions um as you can see um of course we're going to use nutmeg i thought I, I have forgot what i was putting in it <laughs> but yeah so um definitely um uh, not to forget garlic because uh garlic always makes it good as well now we're just gonna mix our meat make sure that all the seasoning is in and everything let it see for a while before you can actually make like the round burger so i just mix the whole meat now i always taste my meat before like for salt and all that but I, for some reason yes when i say test like i mean testing the meat raw um but i didn't taste it i actually didn't taste it i don't know why um but after mixing it, as you can see, um, I have forgot the, you know, <laughs> ground pepper. So that was, I think that was the last thing that I put in there. Um, yeah, so I have forgot about that. So I added, now, feel free to add any other seasoning if you feel like it's not enough. But me, when I'm adding seasoning to my stuff, like my eyes tells me when it's like when it's enough or when it's not enough so i personally don't use measurement like i say in my previous video uh, like videos i do not i do not measure it my my eyes and my hands tells me exactly <laughs> what it needs to be um as you can see there i have uh let my meat see for about 15 to 20 minutes just so the um the ingredient can go inside my meat um, I didn't let it see outside. It was actually in the fridge. Um, then I bring it out, put a little bit of oil uh, on top of my meat, and you have to heat your oven, like preheat the oven before you put the burger. Well, that's what I that's what I do. But anyway, you don't have to. Um, it's up to you. You don't have to do it my way. You can do it your way. <laughs> so, um, I preheat the oven now uh i don't like when like you the reason why i do not fry the burger because i like my meat well done like i don't like the the blood in the middle it makes it seem like it's not cooked well <sighs> i'm black i'm sorry I'm African. I don't. I don't like. I don't like to see blood in my food. I have to make sure that it's well done. Like every time I go even to, like restaurant, especially if I order meat, it is always well done. 
And if it's not, then I'm going to tell them, listen, I'm not eating this. So you better get me something else. So I preheat my oven. And as you can see, this is just me coming and checking it. I don't remember. To be honest, this probably took me an hour. Um, yeah, I think. I don't remember. I, I wasn't counting. I was just checking to see if it was ready. Like, as you can see, I was turning it to the other side. Uh, most of the time when I'm doing burger, I like to put it in the oven. I don't like to fry because I don't like that whole smelling in the house and the oil to, you know... <laughs> <laughs> to come back in my face or, or get burned with oil. Uh-uh. I, I don't like to fry my burger. And I just like to put it in the oven. So, yeah. The good thing about this burger here is, like, it's all about the seasoning and what you put in there. It's not how you actually make the burger. It's just the seasoning and everything is right and it's juicy. How you want it to be? It's bigger than McDonald's burger, duh. Um, so, yeah. As you can see, I'm just checking back on my burger to see it's juicy. I like to add my cheese um, while it's still in the oven just so my cheese can melt. Um into my burger i'm gonna cut up some tomatoes and jalapenos because like i say i like a little bit of spice so these are the tomatoes and the jalapeno that i cut up i'm going to add a little bit of vinegar in that um jalapeno and tomato that i cut up also i'm going to add a spoon of mayonnaise into that um those are going to be my topping for my burger, of course. Um, I don't put too much vinegar. And again, I don't put salt because my meat is well seasoned. Is Everything is good. I don't need to put salt in this um, mixture over here. I don't need to put salt. Everything should be good. I don't know, like, if you have not had, like ketchup with um, mayonnaise together you need to try it but because you're missing you're missing something like you you're missing something you just try mayonnaise and ketchup together mix in ooh that burger looks so good and juicy i'm telling you that cheese right there that cheese was melting trust me it was hot Ooh, that looks so good my cheese is melted in in the burger the burger looks good Ooh, i mean you can always add mayonnaise into your burger or ketchup if you like um i just thought that was enough for me to eat so uh lunch is ready <laughs> serve yourself thank you so much for watching make sure you like this video comment and share and subscribe if you have not already i thank you so much for watching see you next time